Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, just in case you aren't I'm so sure who I am, my name is Maya. I'm the responsable des opérations at the atelier. So. Enchanté. Oui, moi aussi. So just here to give you a quick introduction once uh, the work stop, work shop, sorry, starts. That sounds great. So how's your day been going so far? You it's been good. It? Yeah, it's been good. I'm feeling a little sick. So that's, you know, progressively getting worse throughout the day. So it's not, oh. uh, not the best feeling, but otherwise pretty good. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. That's awful. Oh, it happens. You know, it happens. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Have you visited any of any booths that have been super interesting to you yet? Uh, no, I wasn't able to. I was uh, so I work uh, full time on organizational health uh, at Statistics Canada. So I had uh, some meetings in the morning, unfortunately. Right. But it, I, I love the setup. It's very neat because it feels like. Uh, like you're actually looking at booths because the squares are all yeah. in the main area. So I, th I thought that was very cool. That's good. Well, thank you. Um, but yeah, hopefully you get a chance after your activity to just go visit for you and just five minutes. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. That's good. I'm glad. Um, um, wait another minute before I introduce you. But we definitely seem to have people here. So. And is this how I'm going to turn on um, once there's someone saying in the chat that there's no sound? They don't hear anything? So yeah. That's bizarre. Um, that's very strange. Do they? Uh, uh, someone they... hears us. Okay. 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 Bon. Alors, on peut commencer. Alors, bienvenue à l'atelier Créativité et Bien-être. La session sera animée par Eve-Marie Bloin-Houdon de Levy et aujourd'hui, elle va nous expliquer lorsque la créativité est compromise pendant un processus, il devient plus facile de planifier le travail créatif et de mettre en œuvre des outils comme le jeu qui peut la productivité à chaque étape. Alors, je vous souhaite une bonne session. So, just to run it back a little quickly in English, welcome to the workshop Creativity and Wellbeing. Today's session will be moderated by Eve-Marie Blouin houdon de Bévy. And today she will be discussing when creativity is understood as a process, it then becomes easier to plan for creative work and to implement tools like play that can facilitate productivity at each stage. So I hope you guys enjoy the session. I know you will, and I wish you a great rest of the day. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Thank you. Hi everybody. Uh, it's very nice to uh, to be uh, be doing this workshop with you today. Vu qu'on n'a pas, I'm going to be speaking back and forth in uh, in English and French. Uh, donc si uh, si vous voulez que je répète quelque chose, soit en français ou en anglais, laissez-moi le savoir aussi. Um, you know, I can I can always repeat myself. I'll be monitoring the chat. Um, mais je, vu qu'on a juste 20 minutes ensemble aujourd'hui, je voulais pas passer trop de temps euh, à, à expliquer c'est quoi la créativité, c'est quoi la psychologie derrière la, la créativité. I, I really want to get right into some of the tools uh, that I like to teach uh, individuals in order to tap into their unique creative process. And as we do this together, maybe you'll come up with some, uh, maybe some things will come up for you or you'll have some questions for me. Uh, et je vais être capable de répondre à vos questions uh, pendant la session en même temps. Donc moi, um, mon nom est Eve marie comme elle a dit, uh, et je suis une psychologue, uh, une psychologue finalement qui uh, se spécialise uh, en bien-être, la psychologie du bien-être. Je travaille à temps plein à Statistique Canada uh, en santé organisationnelle, uh, donc je m'assure de créer des interventions et des espaces uh, sain pour les employés, pour justement que les employés puissent um, uh, faire expérience de la de croissance personnelle uh, pendant leur temps au travail. Um, I also teach uh, courses at Carleton University on creativity and innovation. And so, and then I also give some community workshops um, uh, just to, to create education around uh, well-being and creativity and how they go hand in hand and how they can help people uh, grow and flourish. 
And so what I would like to start with right now is with an exercise that's called free writing. Uh, so this is my one of my favorite introspective tools that you can go back to over and over again uh, in order to become aware of what's going on in your stream of consciousness. So your stream of consciousness is um, this flow of thoughts, music, uh, images, maybe smells, maybe sounds uh, that is going on in your mind every day. And within this stream of consciousness, there can be some uh, some elements of that that are actually really uh, important to your personal creativity and that are important to uh, your well-being as well. Maybe they'll help you understand yourself a little bit better. Donc, uh, cet outil, c'est un outil d'écriture libre finalement. Euh, pour commencer, d'habitude, moi, je mets de deux à trois minutes, mais aujourd'hui, on va juste faire à peu près une minute euh, ensemble. Euh, pour, pour faire avancer les choses. Mais cet exercice-là, c'est vraiment... Euh, je vais vous donner une question. Et vous allez prendre... Soit vous pouvez prendre votre ordinateur, mais si vous avez des crayons et du papier euh, proche de vous, je vous encourage à aller les chercher. Donc, ma question pour vous aujourd'hui, ça va être... C'est « What does creativity mean to you? » Qu'est-ce que le mot ou le concept de la créativité veut dire pour vous? Et pendant une minute, je veux que vous écriviez euh, sans interruption sur le papier. Si votre esprit commence à penser à d'autres choses, ou vous commencez à penser « Ah, oh, j'ai euh, un bloc, j'ai un bloc d'écriture, je ne sais pas quoi écrire. » Maybe you'll feel like « As you're writing, you have, uh, you have a block or you don't know what to write anymore. » Write that down, right? « I don't know what to write anymore. » I'm tired, uh, I'm not sure if I can do this. And that's the whole point of free writing, is that no matter what's going on in your head, you're writing that down. And maybe you'll circle back to the prompt, maybe not. Donc peut-être que quand tu t'écris quelque chose d'autre euh, que, euh, que la question que je vous ai posée au début, euh, peut-être que vous allez revenir à la question, peut-être que non, mais c'est pas grave. L'important, c'est que vous continuez à écrire. Donc, si on peut faire ça pour la prochaine minute, euh, est-ce que tout le monde est correct d'écrire ça? Et après ça, j'aimerais savoir une discussion euh, justement sur vos réponses. Donc, what does creativity mean, mean to you? Uh, for one minute, you can write and I will let you know when the time is up. Donc, pour une minute, s'il vous plaît. Écrivez et je vais vous laisser savoir quand le temps est écoulé. D'accord. Vous pouvez déposer vos crayons. I see, um, uh, Amelia, you already wrote something. So for you, creativity means feeling and acting free. That's great. Does anyone else uh, want to share what came up for them? Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres personnes qui veulent partager avec nous uh, qu'est-ce qui est ressorti dans votre écriture? Freedom. La liberté. So that's twice now. That's two people. Life liberation, Sandrine. So liberation to me is something that's very close to freedom as well. That's very interesting. So some, I wrote something similar, freedom, creating something pleasing, beautiful, delightful, constellation. Wow. Constellation that shows complexity, joy, evasion. 
Merci, Julienne. Donc, l'évasion, some escape, being able to escape, ouverture, openness. Absolument, une ouverture. So you feel light, liberated, free, open. Rapprochement et partage. Yeah, that's, that's great, Julienne. So, uh, C'est super, rapprochement et partage. Uh, feeling close to others and sharing. This idea of collaboration. So all of these, uh, écoute de l'autre, oui, écouter les autres, listening to others, receiving. So ça vient aussi avec cette, cette idée d'ouverture et de pouvoir recevoir les autres, de pouvoir recevoir, se recevoir soi-même même. C'est tous des concepts euh, qui sont vraiment intéressants. Qu'est-ce que vous avez présenté? So these are all very interesting concepts because they are, we can see how closely related to this idea of play, uh, how closely related your perceptions of creativity are. So play or being playful is this idea that you don't have to necessarily uh, put on a certain facade. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. You can be light. You can be, uh, you can have this sense of joy and freedom in what you are doing. Et la plupart du temps, ou euh, souvent dans notre vie adulte ou dans, la, dans notre société, euh, on est conditionné à penser que la créativité euh, est égale à la productivité. So, we are socialized to think that creativity is equal to productivity. And so, if we don't produce an idea or we don't produce a product or an outcome, that feels like we made good, quote unquote, a good use of our time, then we, we, we are, you know, we disregard the fact that we were in the creative process. Maybe we're disappointed, maybe we're down on ourselves. Et ça peut influencer, uh, ça peut influencer le fait de retourner dans le, le processus créatif plus tard. So you can see with your, with your definitions of creativity that Creativity is not an outcome. You know, to be creative, you don't have to produce an outcome. You don't have to produce a work of art. You don't have to produce a grant. You don't have to produce a painting or a, a, a show or a book. There's nothing to produce. Creativity is there to be experienced and to, to live you know, to be lived. C est, c est, c est un, la créativité, c'est un processus qui peut nous mener à un produit final éventuellement. Mais l'important, c'est d'être dans le processus créatif. It's to enter the creative process on a daily basis. And I call this creative hygiene. Now, I want, I'm curious, and we'll do a, a second free writing here about the barriers. Are there any barriers that you experience when, uh, that you experience when you're trying to be creative or when you try to enter the creative process? So my question for your free writing right now is what are the barriers to entering the creative process? And I'll give you one minute again.
D'accord, OK. If you want to share, I see, Maja, you already shared poor time management. And so what do you mean by this poor time management? Do you mean that you do not make time to enter into the creative process? Or that you just don't have enough time or you don't see the point in making time for it? Je vois Mireille, le défi d'exprimer de façon libre et authentique. Mm -hmm. So Mireille, le défi de s'exprimer de façon authentique. Euh, quand on pense à la cré créativité comme un processus qui est supposé de nous rendre, finalement, dans lequel on peut être libre, dans lequel on peut être authentique, justement. Euh, souvent, on, on a peur de s'exprimer de façon authentique, justement, parce qu'on approche euh, le processus créatif de façon... Euh, d'un angle de productivité. Euh, mais quand on approche le processus créatif de façon, euh, finalement, de façon « from a play perspective », right? So instead of, uh, of being creative to produce something, I'm going to enter the creative process to have fun and to be playful. You know, I'm going to set aside one hour where I can explore Either explore my senses, explore, um, you know, explore my ideas uh, in a very playful, playful way. Then suddenly you've lowered, soudainement, to to enlever, to enlever les attentes, les attentes d'être productif, les attentes de de devoir s'exprimer de façon qui qui est parfaite ou qui est acceptable finalement. I see lack of trust in the process. Desire for control, perfection, attachment to outcomes. There we go. <laughs> I feel like, uh, Ave, I feel like you, uh, you explained it very, very well, better than I could. Lack of trust in the process so that, you know, the process takes time. It doesn't all happen in one go. Uh, and that, you know, th so this takes time. We, we don't always have control. We can't always be perfect. Uh, and we can't be so attached to the outcomes. Julienne, l'environnement dans lequel on se trouve. Uh, et je vois aussi, uh, Emilia, I also see where environment is stressful. So, you know, l'environnement dans lequel on contrôle and a stressful environment, to me, those, you know, those are similar. Or they hit the same thing is that sometimes we're not, we don't always have the, the you know, we don't always have the right environment to, uh, to feel safe, to feel like we can be our authentic self. And so, That, be, that shows the importance of finding, you know, find your environment where you can be authentic, where you can feel playful. Where is that? What is your ideal environment? At work, I see fear of being judged and not being professional, crazy different. Absolutely. So at work, uh, creating a playful, uh, creative environment at work is not easy when it's not part of the culture. Uh, so, so this is a culture thing. Uh, so if for you, if at work, you find that your work culture is very much based on performance uh, and that there isn't room uh, for, for safe and free expression, then maybe start exploring it at home. Uh, si au travail, c'est pas nécessairement un environnement où est-ce que la culture est ouverte à la créativité et, et au jeu, euh, vous pouvez aussi commencer à pratiquer votre processus créatif ou à pratiquer à être confortable avec votre processus créatif euh, à quelque part. C'est avec des amis proches, avec une communauté que vous connaissez déjà, ou peut-être que c'est juste par vous-même au début, dans votre maison. Maybe you have a room at home that you can set aside just for your playful time. Um, the judgment of others, le jugement des autres, l'auto-jugement sur son style. Absolument. Donc, le jugement des autres, the judgment of others, and then our own judgment, et, et notre propre jugement à propos de nous-mêmes aussi. Um, souvent, on, on a internalisé le jugement uh, des autres toute la Sometimes we've internalized since we were little that society has certain expectations uh, around, around creativity, and we often associate creativity with artistry. On associe souvent la créativité Uh, un talent artistique, mais la créativité, c'est beaucoup plus que de l'art. Uh, creativity is a lot more than art. Comme vous l'avez dit, is a way of, of 
examples. Um, everything that you see in the world is, is, uh, has stemmed from the creative process. Um, merci pour vos réponses. This, this was really great before closing off because I see I only have about two minutes uh, before closing off. I want to say that you can take and encourage you to take this free writing practice into your own lives. But instead of wanting to produce something that's creative uh, to be productive, that you can start to explore how creativity can serve your well-being. How can engaging in the creative process bring you joy, make you feel free? How can it make you feel playful? And how can it help you, this creative process, how can it help you understand something about yourself that you might not have been aware of? Comment est-ce que la créativité peut vous aider à vous libre, vous vous amuser et peut-être apprendre quelque chose à propos de vous-même que vous euh, ne connaissiez pas avant, que vous n'étiez pas, euh, vous étiez pas conscient de cette partie-là de vous autres auparavant. Um, what I tell, what I encourage people to do is to make a creative hygiene. So for me, I like to do, you know, 30 to an hour every few days uh, where I set aside sometimes, I'll put a timer down. So if, if, if for you it's an hour, Put a timer so that you don't have to worry about time. And then from there, you're going to do that. This is a whole other talk now to talk about this, actually the specific stages of the creative process because you have different stages and ways that you can do in those different stages. But to explain well-being, I would say, go with what your gut wants. Do you want to play with your hands? Do you want to paint? Do you want to play with Play-Doh? Do you want to solve a puzzle? Uh, Est-ce que vous voulez uh, écrire? Est-ce que vous voulez écouter de la musique? Uh, et vous assire là et regardez vos pensées. Uh, it could be anything as long as you're doing it for the sake of enjoyment. See what comes up for you and that it, et aussi l'important dans un espace créatif, c'est que c'est pas vous êtes pas en train de lire un livre, vous êtes pas en train de consommer uh, de l'information, but you are generating something, you are engaging in something. So that's what the important part is uh, with the creative space. And then you can see how you feel. Vous pouvez voir comment que ça vous fait sentir. Vous pouvez uh, fermer la session en écrivant. Uh, finalement, doing free writing and writing what came up for you during that session. See how you feel and see how you can make that uh, that time more cons a more consistent part of your life. I see, um, before closing off, I think I understand the condition where uh, your creativity emerges when I have high energies and happiness, but this is not often. So there may be other conditions Uh, Fabien, there. you don't just have to be light and free when you're going into your creative space. Sometimes you might feel uh, down. You might feel... Parfois, on peut sentir un petit peu... On n'est pas obligé de sentir bien ou heureux uh, à notre processus créatif. Donc, des fois, ça se peut que vous vous sentiez moins bien, triste, euh, plus lourd. Euh, ça vaut quand même la peine d'explorer ce qui se passe là ou de passer du temps avec vous-même en train de créer, en train de vous exprimer euh, pour voir comment est-ce que peut-être que ça, ça change votre état d'esprit aussi. So, I, I believe this is the end uh, of the session. Um, <laughs> yes, it was very short. I'm happy. Uh, this is the first time I do a, a, a short 20 minute talk like this, but, uh, I, I hope that, um, you gain something from it. I encourage you to explore this often, just little chunks, often make time for it. Um, et, uh, si vous avez des questions, vous pouvez toujours, uh, m'écrire. Je vais vous mettre mon courriel ici. Voilà. Oh, that's great. You'll be doing a PhD in well-being. Yes. Uh, merci. Oui, absolument. Please contact me if you have any questions. I have my email down here. 
Euh, et j'espère que vous passez un beau reste d'après-midi. Merci.